In this movie, I will demonstrate the use of picture boxes. Oftentimes, you might want to display on the form a picture or icon or some other graphical image. To begin, I will find the picture box control in the toolbox. You simply click like you would any other control and then simply draw the container for the picture box onto the form. Just like any other control, a picture box can be renamed. And as you can see, the default name for picture box is picture box 1. I will leave that as the name for the time being until I import an image. So I'll go down to the image property and this is where you actually will need to retrieve the picture file that you want to display onto your form. Click the ellipsis button and then simply select the item that you want to import into your form and then click OK and then you have the image onto your form. Now as you can see I have a picture of a water lily and I can resize the picture box control to whatever size is appropriate. At this point I will want to rename the picture box to something descriptive of its contents. So I will call this water lily picture box. Now there are many things you can do with a picture box control. You could actually click on it and cause code just like you could any other control. Sometimes you might make the image disappear or reappear. Let me demonstrate that at this point. To do so, I'll place two buttons onto the form, just near the top. One button will be used to make the image appear, while the other button will be used to make it disappear. I'll begin by renaming the buttons. I will make this, I'll call this button Visible Button, since this will be the button to make it appear. And I'll make this button named Invisible Button. Going back to the visible button, I will change the text property to read make visible so the user will be able to know this button's function. Go to the second button and I will write make disappear. So now the user is presented with these two choices to make the image appear or disappear. To make these buttons functional, I do need to write some code. Every control can also be made visible and invisible. There is a visible property. If I click on the water lily picture box control itself and scroll down to the visible property, you will see that by default it is true. That is, initially the, the picture will be true. To manipulate this, I simply need to change the visible property at runtime. So I will begin by double clicking on the Make Visible button, which opens up the code window. And here I need to know the name of the control, which is Water Lily. Picture box. Dot visible is the property I want to affect, equals true, because this is the Visible button. I'll return to the form and double click on the make disappear button and I write similar code that says water lily dot visible again but this time set it equal to false. So now when the project is executed and the user clicks on the visible button this line of code will be executed that is water lily picture box dot visible equals true. When they click on the invisible button this line of code will be executed. Water lily picture box dot visible equals false. Let's return to the form and run the pro project to see if it works. Project is now running. As you can see, the image is automatically appears. So if I click the make visible button, nothing happens since this already appears. If I click make disappear, as you can see, that causes the image to completely disappear. To make it reappear, I click the make visible button. As programs become more complex, we will have more use for picture boxes.